Okay, in this video I'm going to demonstrate and explain how magnetic shielding works. And also I'm going to try to explain a magnet motor concept that I've seen a couple of people post on YouTube. Okay, here I have two very strong neodymium magnets. Here I have a metal file. With it I'll show you how magnetic shielding works. I'm using this metal file for two reasons. One of the reasons is that the file is mostly made of iron. Iron has high permeability and the stronger the permeability the more a magnet will be attracted to it. And the second reason I'm using it is because the gauge gets gradually smaller at the end here. I'll show you how this comes into play in just a minute. Okay, now here I made a contraption out of cardboard to hold the two magnets into place. They're in attraction mode here, but I'll need to put them in repulsion mode for this demonstration. And now I'll show you how magnetic shielding works. Okay, now even though they're both in repulsion mode, they're still attracted to the metal and they will come together. And you can see here it's tough to pull them apart. By putting the metal in between them, I've basically cancelled the repelling forces. As I push the magnets closer to the top, where there's less metal, the magnetic shielding becomes slightly weaker. And now you have repulsion and attraction happening at the same time. And if you have the right amount of shielding, you will have equal amounts of repulsion and attraction, effectively neutralizing both forces. And what happens at this point, it takes almost no strength to pull them apart or bring them back together. And now, if you use less shielding, you can gradually bring the repelling forces into play. Alright, now think about this for a second. What would happen if you put the same type of metal rod next to a rotor with the magnet on the end of it? Okay, that's easy. The magnet would be attracted to the closest point on the rod. Okay, now what would happen if we had two wheels? Same thing, right? They would both be attracted to the rod. Okay, but at this point, if you have the right amount of shielding, the repelling and attracting forces would be neutralized, like I demonstrated earlier. Let's go back. Wouldn't the speed gained by the attraction forces push them past that neutral area? If so, the repelling forces would bring them around again. Well, that would be nice, it would make it a lot easier. But what if they don't? Let's say they just stay put. Let's add more magnets here. And if that's not enough to push them over, let's add more here. The incoming magnets also want to get as close as they can to the metal. I think this idea would work, but not like that. You would definitely have to use gears in order to line up the magnets properly. I've learned a lot over the past year and a half about uh, magnets and shielding in the quest to build a magnet motor. I think it's absolutely possible, and I hope you've learned something from this video. Uh, thanks for watching.